my friends, uh, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner, and today I'm coming to you with the um, uh, project, which is um, an entry to uh, Phoebe's um, uh, challenge that she's hosting. Um, so um, she likes. Um, I'll pop the link below uh, to the challenge. She likes soft um, lavender colors, <clears throat> so um, I uh, searched um, internet and I came up uh, with an image um, of, of Pinterest, and that's the image. And I thought that would be just perfect. Um, so that's what I printed out on um, through the Word documents. It's uh, for um, for images per page, whatever size it is. Um, let me see. It's going to be five by three and a half size. So, and what I basically did, um, I used my, one of the images as a base, and uh, the rest, uh, well, two, I cut out, uh, cut out uh, some elements. Uh, the first element I cut out, it's the whole bouquet with a vase, with a book, and with this piece of uh, flowers and uh, a fabric so that larger piece and uh, then I used um, another image and I decorated the flowers itself with the um, flower flock and a glitter And I fuzzy cut um, elements. I fuzzy cut. I'll bring it uh, closer to you. I'm gonna try to bring it closer. Um, it's such a soft color. I'm not sure how to showcase it. Um, so basically, I the the second image I fuzzy cut only flowers. Only this. Um, they're not embossed, but they. Um, decorated uh, flowers so um, and I use the uh, um, Helmer um, Zep Dots from NSK um, they have different we have different uh, shapes and colors and the thicknesses and um, I just popped each layer and that's what basically the creation came to the uh, <clears throat> the base for this plaque um, is um, a wooden frame well it's plaque it's wooden plaque um, and it had like yellowish tone to it um, I gessoed it uh, leaving the tricks and it's actually um, looked like weathered wood now uh, I put my stamp in here of course and um, I put this uh, beautiful lace from my stash around the uh, black and um, from the top I um, started with the heavier uh, pieces um, like uh, this artificial um, flourish dangle and uh, this tiny little fl uh, uh, artificial flowers and I secured them with the E6000 and a hot glue 
if you can see right there you see the stem and uh, wraps around the uh, hanger which is decorative at this point uh, because the black goes on um, this um, hook and from the back you probably will be able to see and then oh, hard to showcase it and then I added a colored peacock feather and secure that and you barely can see it in here but there is um, a bling stem and I took one of the um, Ashland um, you know Michael's Ashland stems apart and I used one string of bits but because the stem was green and I wanted to hide it um, this particular um, feather uh, came as a, as a like bushed bouquet with the feathers so I took it apart and I used different feathers and secured them um, around that bling so they kind of falls they follow the uh, shape of the wooden plaque and the top, um, I love to use tool, so I grab tool from an escape because we have variety of colors. Um, and I found the one that's matching my project. And again, I added, you see the uh, streaks of ribbon here and there to bring the fullness of the, you know, to finish the fullness of the project. So that's the um, topper per se uh, then with the image itself uh, you see that uh, shutter the window um, shutter um, I left it as is this and I oval uh, cut the image itself um, just leaving that corner open and um, I die cut it uh, with the, this frame die I'll, I'll show you the shape because the die is itself already done gone but I have uh, I wasn't sure which color I'm gonna use uh, so that's the um, die cut itself. So I took this frame apart and I snipped it in several pieces. I snipped this and I snipped that and I kind of spread it apart because it was not big enough for the image. You see it's way smaller than the image. So I just cut it in in the places where I could save the swirl and open the frame, pull the frame apart and use the pop-up dots to uh, secure the frame here and there. So that I went with this gold um, paper, glitter paper from Michaels. Um, yeah, and then after layering and using the pop-up dots um, and securing all la layers, um, I had a little opening in between the frame here and here. So what I did, I took some artificial leaves that are matching this project. And it just stuck them in and uh, I love butterflies so I use the uh, feather butterfly in here and I do have a deep lilac one but it was taking um, attention from the frame and the vase itself so I went with the um, 
pastelish color so there it is uh, there is my um, little decorative plaque for fib I hope you like it <laughs> I needed to do it like MIA so I can include it in the, the um, in your box that's so yeah I hope you like it and uh, yeah please um, go ahead and participate um, the only thing you need to know that uh, Phoebe uh, is uh, living in Japan so please um, select carefully um, the weight of your project um, because the shipping might be a little bit on expensive side so uh, that's it uh, check all the links below thank you so much for watching uh, looking forward to see all of your um, projects on Phoebe's channel bye I, it's me I'm back sorry <laughs> um, after double checking with the instructions on Phoebe's channel um, the project was supposed to be a heart shape project so I didn't want to redo my original project because it came out so adorable but uh, with the image that I had um, I just pulled out a couple more things and uh, made additional one so it's gonna be two projects so I hope one of them will be eligible for entry hopefully so uh, basically what I did I cut out that uh, um, heart shape let me let me um, show you from the back okay I have the heart shape die and uh, so I cut out the uh, um, image uh, on a larger frame and I cut out the um, backing from that cream uh, glittery paper that I showed you previously and I used the uh, I used the uh, uh, this creamy um, frame for uh, highlighting this particular image and uh, I was um, I don't know something into me I'm in a wall hanging so if if you understood the idea so I took um, the spray the floral spray um, I looped the lace around it and that is my hanging okay and I tied this bow because I love floating laces and I love bows and um, as I showed you frame is uh, slightly smaller than image itself so um, it needs to be you know the um try to find the proper ah, um so the uh, um frame is narrower and smaller than the image so uh the heart shapes are going way around and on top of that image print of image is narrower than the heart shape so I needed to distress uh, and ink it, the edges that were empty, um, white blank cardstock. And uh, then I grabbed another lilac -y lace, as you see, and I just basically gathered it around, which created, I love that effect right here on the bottom when lace poking out through the frame uh, I think it gives even more dimension to the project so um, I used again this uh, pop-up dots uh, zip dots from NSK to pop up the frame but I actually um, secured it with the hot glue gun as well because it's going on in some areas it goes on the lace so I wanted to be sure that everything is gonna be intact so and if we will 
uh, push it um, higher. I'll bring the higher. I had this dangle from Hobby Lobby, uh, and it is a heart shape acrylic uh, bling. So I created uh, a tassel kind of underneath of the frame, and I used a scrap of this lace. That's all I had, and and the leftovers of this uh, beautiful uh, lacy trim as well. And uh, I tied it in a bow, and uh, that's basically it. Excuse for the noise. I have no idea what is uh, going on in our neighborhood. Uh, but um, uh, that's it. That's my um, basically entry, I guess, to Phoebe's, um, Phoebe's um, challenge. Yeah, and on the back, uh, as I showed you, uh, nothing fancy. Um, it looks more plain, but it's also, you know, um, quite clean and fine looking. So I hope um, I hope you like this entry, and I hope uh, these two uh, creations will find um, a place in your home. Thanks.